What's going on, everyone? I just woke up. I just want to reiterate, like, I'm not sick. Look, if you go through all the videos, and I've been doing this for quite some time now since she started all this bullshit off, but if you remember, the way it works with Tiffany is to tell her no, she gives you attitude. Tell her you're crazy, you're fucking stupid whore, get the fuck out of here. She gives you more attitude. Then you go, I know what you're up to. You're a stupid crazy whore. Get out of here. And she gives you more attitude. Then you act nice to her. And she goes, I can't believe he's being nice to me. And you keep on acting nice to her. And you say nice things to her. And then she gives you everything you want to hear. And then you go, aha! Caught you, you stupid bitch. Because that's exactly what you do to like a three-year-old. Like, did you leave the milk out? No. It's only me and you here. How did how did the milk get out? I don't know. Okay, I have a camera in here that that watches everything. And whoever the last person was to put the milk away, if they put it away, there won't be any problems. But if they don't, then I'll get mad. That's what it is with the stupid cunt. Anyways, so the motive, I think, this is what I think. Now, up until the part it involved my niece, that's when it became, like, not something that could be sweeped under the rug. So, what I think happened was something along the lines of during Forever One when she was in Singapore, or probably even when I went to go see her in New York, even, she was, like, breaking up with or starting the process or probably had already broken up with that douchey loser because she was only dating him to get her albums made. Uh, and but the entire time she was still she was the the entire time I was, apparently every night for freedom I went to I met her at just in a different form and I don't remember it and apparently we did everything in all of them I don't remember I don't even remember it's possible not at the second one but I think of the other ones I went to and she's like probably also because I didn't go to the one in Miami she went back to Korea. Because that's when she was following me around. I just didn't know it was her. Anyways. Then, for like that month when things were going good, what I think happened was, and if she would have not done this, things would have still been going good. I think what she did was because the way these douchey LA relationships work out, is that they're all basically poly, which is, uh, again, I'm not poly, I had it backwards, polygynous. It's the one where, like, I can fuck whatever the fuck I want to, but if I even see you as anything else, get the fuck out of here. I'm never going to deal with you again. Polygynous. That's what I was doing before Tiffany started bothering me, which I was still doing, but not as much because I had to, like, play the part and whatnot. Anyways. So Tiffany wasn't dating Kevin Nish. She was... In a L.A. liberal polygamy, you know, like, oh, well, you could help me make music, so we'll say we're dating, but then I'm going to still be on Tinder and all that bullshit. I don't do that. I don't do that at all, which is why when she was trying to get me involved in that bullshit, I said, I think you're a rap whore. I don't want to do with your bullshit. No, I'm not. I swear. Forever one. And all that bullshit, right? Anyways, look, you don't understand. Tiffany... It seems like she went into debt making over skin. That's how that's how much of a hold I have on her, or whatever the fuck it is. So it seems like what Tiffany did, not enough of a hold as narcissism has on her though, because it seems like Tiffany had broken up or was breaking up with that dude, and they're not even like they're not like exclusively dating. They were like L.A. dating, which is like, dude, I'm telling Tiffany is obsessed. With she thinks every single guy out there just only wants to take it up the ass. She thinks guys don't like her and only want to take it up the ass. You don't understand. Like I am perfectly and again, I'm not saying like it would be like my first choice, but like if I was like laying a pipe on Blair White and Tiffany was to or a K pop bitch was to walk in right, start laying pipe on the new one, right? Because that's the hot bitch, right? Like, no, she thinks all dudes don't lay pipe and take it up the ass and want to, like, talk to you about your feelings and hold your hand. And, like, that's the shit you do so you can lay pipe. 
No, she thinks like she thinks a relationship is like Kevin. After you take it up the ass for five hours, do you want to help me make these doilies? That's what she thinks a relationship is. Okay, seriously. And I told you that from from the very beginning. I was like, this bitch is crazy in the head. All right. So probably that douchey loser was like, no, I was gonna look bad to everyone in my in my in my Masonic club if you leave me. I, I sold, I, I told, I, I was doing all those weird things to the 70 year olds so I could get the money to lose while you made songs about that other guy who doesn't even know who you are. And then she was like, uh, and then the guy was like, what if I get you a Grammy? What if I make you a rap whore, an even bigger rap whore? We put you in a Rick Ross song and then you'll have a Grammy. She was like, I can dump him then. I know. I'll dump this guy. I dump, I'll dump Kevin after the Grammy. Cyberpunk, hold on, I'll split everything later. Let me just go take these teeth better out here. And that's exactly when all her booty pics started going up. That's pretty much what it was. Now, probably she and her little shitty crew are the ones. She was like, I didn't steal it. No, you didn't. You didn't create the link. You just gave it to me. That makes you an accomplice. Right? So she probably thought she would be able to string me along for like up until she got paid back for that bullshit and then pay me back. But just like I knew you were Tiffany on day one, just like I told you I knew it was fake on day one, I knew you were up to something. And now HTX is totally a white hat playground and the Chinese economy is collapsing. Joseon.